How's it going? Today I want to kind of show you how to edit 360 video so that the viewer doesn't have to scroll around and trying to make out where he has to look and you basically guide them. Then I want to improve your text capability so that you can make the text instead of it's like um, bent and want to make it straight and that will be really cool. And I want to show you how to export a 360 video. This is now kind of a speed run. Um, I already prepared a couple things for you. So this is already the project but the first thing you need to do is actually go in here import some footage um, choose here this one for example this is me doing a wedding I think yep this is me doing a wedding with Vinny and I'm basically making a face right now but all you really need to do is click on to the right for exporting export 360 video because if you export it as a 360 video and you import it into your editing software you can choose like the look and everything in the editing software GoPro has a 360 plugin that I will link down below and with that you can uh, can do 2d videos but we're going to show you today the 360 video so we just said export 360 start export and after that is done we're basically good to go and we can edit so let's go right into premiere pro um, i just canceled that we don't really need this and i kind of want to show you what it looks like right now um, this is now what we're working with. So I currently already have the effects on there and I kind of don't want to give it away. So the first thing that we're going to do is click on the clip and then you click here on the, there's usually a plus sign. It's a little bit bucked out by me, but that's Premiere Pro for you. And then there you have the toggle VR display, you know, and then you can just move that in here and then you click on it and you will see what the camera is seeing. So the viewer, when he clicks on the video, he will see exactly that and you maybe lose their attention and that is not what you want. What you want is to basically determine where they watch. So all you really have to do is like type in VR into the effects panel and then go rotate sphere because they're kind of spheres, what is kind of weird. And then you change the roll axis and the Y axis. So obviously I accidentally did it wrong, but yeah, you get the point. You can now animate this with keyframes, which is really powerful. So you can go here, click on pan, go a little bit back because like you want to pan in there. And now it's, and you know, there's a software that comes now it's like panning into that what is pretty cool but now imagine you kind of want to do the whole text thing the text the text is like one of the things where it's like okay you click on text click on to the video and you cannot type what is super annoying so let's undo the vr toggle now we can actually click on the text and type whatever um big new big news of the day of the day Yay, now we can like go in the essential graphics and make it how we want it, put a stroke on there, make it like dark so it pops more and shadow and all the above. If we go now back to the VR view, you know, now you see how um, rotated that is. And obviously you maybe want that, you maybe don't want that, but I want to show you what to do to get rid of that. We're going back to the effects, type in VR, we type in VR plane to sphere and then we can click on it. Now you see it's all the way back there and it's small. What is kind of cool because now it's straight and that's what we kind of want. So we can now change like the scale and we can make it bigger or smaller. And as you see, this is now easy to read and it's really cool. Um, now the elephant in the room, let's say you have now the rotation, you have now the text. How do you actually do and 360 video because if you click on export now it will just look like this and this is not good you need to write the metadata into the video so that the um, facebook youtube or whatever knows that this is 360 because for them it's just a 2d video what you're gonna do is go on to export and wait a little quick moment then you go into the video section scroll all the way down after you change like the settings how you want it and you really want good settings here and you click on video is vr this allows you to write the video um, vr data into the video so they know what to do with it and you also want to change it into monoscopic because there's a couple different vr settings but um, the insta360 x1 two and three they are monoscopic in the actor rectangular way and also make sure it's on 360 very important all you really need to do now is click export and you're good to go you basically now did a 360 video 
And if you upload it to YouTube, it's basically a 360 video. Um, by some uh, platforms, you kind of have to enable the settings where you basically highlight, hey, yes, this is a 360 video. Please display it as a 360 video. But this is the settings that you need to do. And yeah, let it comment down below if this was helpful. And if you have any questions, feel free to DM me. And yeah, this video is a little bit rushed because it's Vlogmas, but we're making it happen. So have a good one.